more pancakes. We're going to talk about ideas of limiting reactants, theoretical yield, and percent yield. So back to our pancake recipe. There's our recipe. What if we have three cups of flour, 10 eggs, and four teaspoons of baking powder? How many pancakes can we make? Quick, answer. Eighteen? Fifteen? Okay, that's a little harder, isn't it? Yeah. How do we do that? Okay, so what you're doing in your heads, I can tell from the mumblings, you're saying, well, three cups of flour, I could make 15 pancakes, but 10 eggs, I could make five times, I could make 25 pancakes, four teaspoons of baking soda, eight times this, right? So you look at each ingredient and see which one would make the least amount of pancakes. So let's, let's look at, just quickly, how we would write that out. Three cups of flour times five pancakes, I'm going to call those PCs, for one cup of flour. Okay? You were doing that in your head because you can. Five pancakes, 15 pancakes. Um, Ten eggs. Five pancakes for every two eggs. So that ends up being um, 25 pancakes. And <coughs> four teaspoons times, stay with me please, five pancakes per half, half teaspoon. Okay, half gets messy when you're using your calculator, so convert it to a, a decimal, 0. 0.5. Um, that's what, 40 pancakes? I don't know. Do the math. 4 times 5 divided by 0. 0.5. Yeah, 40. So, we... We recognize, because we understand the process of making pancakes, that we can only make 15. Because when we make 15 pancakes, we run out of flour, and you can't continue to make pancakes if you have no more flour, right? When we do problems like this with chemical reactions, students do all sorts of crazy things. They'll do this calculation beautifully, and then they'll add all these up. And they'll say, I can make 80 pancakes. And that's absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? It is. This is how many pancakes we can make. So here's our picture, right? So we would call the flour the limiting reactant. It's the ingredient that limits how much product we can make. And that number of pancakes is the theoretical yield. Because sometimes things go wrong when you're making pancakes. You flip it, and it lands on the floor, and the dog eats it. It happens, right? We'll come back to this next week.